For today's horror manga dub and narration, I have a special one for you, a unique one. The tale of today is Fasting by Kazuo Umezu and Kisashi Aguchi. If you enjoy this story at any point in time, please do not hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. It seriously really helps me a lot. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into the manga. You... you hate me? Why? Why, you say? You think a guy'd be into a fat girl like you? Get real. Don't think I'm interested in you just because I hung out with you once. You're so dumb. So pitiful. How could you think that? Damn. You really tore into that girl. What girl? She's a whale. Simple words could not describe the heartache our protagonist felt in her chest. She felt so dejected, depressed, and yet so unvaluable. Her melancholy continued on into the night, raising concern from her mother. Tomoko, darling, you still haven't eaten. Are you alright? But she simply stood up upon hearing this, slamming the table with all her weight, producing a sound similar to that of thunder. Quickly running away from the table, our lead tramples up the staircase as her mom call from below, each step crashing against each stair as if the weight of her sadness were weighing her down. But despite her mother's valiant effort, she simply continue, continue to her room and slam the door behind. She then peer into the mirror within, grimacing at her plump face as she squeezes her cheeks. Deciding to go to sleep, she hang her clothes atop of the wardrobe and curl up into her blankets, nestling nestling in a chrysalis-like state within. I'll show them. I'll definitely lose weight. The dawn of a new day. The man who picked on her is all cozy up with a beautiful young vixen, her chest, pressed against his arm all flirtatiously. But Tomoko, she nearly watched the two of them, just wishing, wishing that she was that young lady she only imagined what things would be like if she were more beautiful, more skinny, more conventionally attractive. Her stomach begins to growl as she looks extremely ill. Back at her house, an apple with a singular bite lay resting on the table. <gasps> only a single bite out of an apple today. That's enough already, Tomoko. You're destroying your body. As the strangely eerie cold night enveloped the sky, Tomoko's mother began to step up the stairs. Brr, it's really gotten cold. All of a sudden, she is alarmed at a sound, a sound she hears in the distance. She peers around the corner to see Tomoko in front of the fridge, just staring, admiring the contents inside. It looks so good. Pudding, Ikujaga, ugh, Mentaiko with rice, all so good. Only look, I must only look. In that instant, her mother's look becomes perhaps the apotheosis of true terror as she see her daughter pull off the clothing, revealing a mirror below. Tomoko is shocked, shocked to see her face, her face no longer chubby nor plump. I'm, I'm beautiful. In this instant, the feeling of pride fully takes over her countenance. I've finally done it, everything suits me. So, this is what losing weight is all about. Now, for the first time, I understand Akira Kun's feelings. <laughs> As she began to laugh hysterically. That night, 
Akira is going for a walk when he hears a voice. Akira-kun! It's me. Come on. Don't you remember? You're? I don't remember, but... Oh my gosh. She's beautiful. Would you like to go out with me? Being charmed by Tomoko's newfound beauty, he immediately agrees. Totally. I'd love to. In my mind, I was yelling out. I did it. And at that moment, the appetite, which I had suppressed for so long, suddenly came to head. What happened next was something that no one could have expected. Tomoko, take a bite from Akira's body, lacerating his flesh as the pale crimson red blood stain her psychotic face. She continues to bite, not just his neck, but his face as well, until his skeleton begins to show. Oh, a most wretched sight indeed. Blood dripping from her entire face, his flesh dangling from her teeth, and her clothes blood stained. When I finally came to my senses, I had eaten Akira-kun. And there, she just sat there, looming over his body, admiring the boy she once loved. I don't know about you folks, but this is certainly a story about the importance of preaching body positivity and not to shame people. I'm not one to be spiteful or hope for revenge, but some people may say that Akirikun received his just desserts. I guess this is why it is important to think of our words before we say them, because our actions, they have consequences, and sometimes it can be just as easy to say something nice. I know I'll be using this as a lesson to spread more positivity in my life. I personally just hope that no one else has to have a tragic fate like poor Akira-kun. <laughs> Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please don't forget to comment and tell me that you like this format so I know to keep making these type of videos. And don't forget to like and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching everyone. And remember, you're important and you matter. Have a great night everyone. Goodbye.